What's up, everyone? Welcome back to episode 23. You might be surprised. The podcast where I surprise myself every single time I sit down and record this thing because you know what? I never know how well it's actually going to go. And I've been doing it for so long. You know, we're kind of rocking and rolling with it. Ha! Oh, what's going on, guys? I hope everyone's doing well. Um, to the people that continue to watch this show, thank you very much. Um, it means the world to me. And if you are a listener that continues to listen to this show, Probably noticing, hey, Chris, dude, your voice sounds crispy AF. Well, to nerd out for like one second, I bought a cloud lifter and it's giving me the voice that I've wanted for podcasting since I started podcasting. Um, I didn't think I needed one, but you know what? I was like, I'm working on a secret thing that could help boost this show immensely. So I can't talk about it, but. Um, If things go well, um, a lot more time, a lot more of my time can now be put into um, the show that I've been creating for months now. So I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I came to the realization this week, okay? Hear me out. I came to the realization this week that I have not been as personable as what I should be for a solo dolo podcast. I feel like I have not shared parts of my life with you that I feel like I could have also I'm I I can't share too much because like I don't want to go into personal stuff yet like I'm not getting paid for this or like I'm doing this as a passion project so I choose what I want to talk about but I feel like I could uh be a little bit more relatable than what I can be I um since this is a a solo podcast I'm always in my head like oh dude like I need to be I need to write jokes. I need this. And like, I need to do all this type of stuff. When in reality, I find podcasts are the most entertaining when I'm just hearing somebody's opinion on just random stuff that I don't know about or that I do know about. So with that being said, let's talk Halloween costumes, baby. Halloween costumes, baby. Um, so being 6'2 and always tall. All right. I feel like I was at a disadvantage for most of my Halloween experiences. Okay. I don't honestly think I had a really good um, outfit or a really good outfit, a really good um, Halloween costume. I remember when I was a little kid, right? <laughs> I think um, my like my my one I look back to a lot was Batman. If you don't know, Batman is the shit. I love Batman when I was a little kid, and I love Batman now. Okay, I think I pulled off the cutest Batman when I was a little kid. If if I can find a photo, I'll throw it up on the screen. It is. I remember it vividly. My mom spent hours making it, um, and I I. Th- I still look back at those photos. Sometimes I'm like, oh, yeah, that was a good Halloween. But then from there until college, I don't think I was anything great. Like, I remember, (laughs) dude, you ever like I like I when I was younger, I didn't try. Okay, I didn't try for Halloween. I kind of was just in it for the candy, like 99 percent of the kids are. But I feel like now there's like this whole culture, especially in college and social me- me- media to just do the most outlandish things. But I think my costumes were absolutely terrible. So from being Batman, the only thing I can remember is being a ninja. And then one year I literally just brought a bed sheet. And didn't even cut out the eyelids. And I said I was a ghost. Like when you're in grade school, you 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 uh you have this thing where you can um go and like like you show off what you are on like the day before how or like if Halloween landed on a weekday, you had like this parade at least where I went to school. And dude, I literally put no effort in and just put a bed sheet over my head. I told my mom and dad that I did not want it. this. Dude, this had to be like, I'm I'm thinking third grade. Third grade, your boy put a bed sheet over his head and said he was a ghost. 
imagine doing that now. I would be canceled. But also, terrible trying on my part, dude. And, like, it doesn't get better. Like, <laughs> so, from there, um, and then, like, I think, um, like, fifth grade, don't remember. I think I stopped trick-or-treating at, like, fifth or sixth grade, dude. Like, I didn't dress up at all until college, cause, but college is a whole nother thing, and I'll get to that. But I didn't dress up at all. Like, I, like, my costumes were whack. I know, um, like, one year I dressed up as a basketball player. I was just literally just carried around a basketball dude. And I was like, yeah, this is, this is who I am today. You, you, you know, 6'2". At, like, when I was in, like, fifth grade, basketball player, how original, Chris. I know. I know. I'm still disappointed in myself. When I came up with, with this idea to talk about this, I was like, dude. I don't got anything good. I really don't. Dang it, I forgot to grab a water for this podcast. Hold up. Your boy has water. Is it just water from the sink? Yep. Um, so then, um, in like freshman year and like senior year of high school, I got the great idea because I have this luscious red beard to dress up as a um, as a lumberjack. And literally all I did was put on a flannel and a black hat. And I was like, yep, I'm a lumberjack. So, um, somebody, uh, I dressed up as that. And one time, um, I think I dressed up like that. And people thought I was the dude from Dexter. <laughs> I don't. I didn't know if I should take that as a compliment or if I should be freaked out or weirded out. <laughs> if you don't know, Dexter's a serial killer. <laughs> um, so, so fast forward, I pretty much sucked at uh, Halloween. Um, and to be honest, I, I always like skip over Halloween. I'm like, Halloween's just like another month until my birthday. So my birthday's on the 6th of November. Um, Bet your ass I'm going to be doing a cool uh, 24-year-old birthday podcast. Um, but, um, so yeah, I, I, I didn't really care for Halloween because I was like, in six days, it's going to be my birthday. So I was more worried about my birthday than it was Halloween. Um, but I started caring a little bit more about what I dressed up as in college. And let me tell you, there was one Halloween where I did it right. There was one Halloween, okay? Sophomore year of college. If you don't know, Halloween in college is the biggest thing. You have all the cute girls wearing less than minimal clothing. You have them dressing up as bunnies, the Hugh Hefner ones. Uh, uh, there was girls dressing up as nurses and doctors. If you know, you know. I did it right. Me and my roommate at the time dressed up as priests. Now let that sink in. We dressed up as priests. And let me tell you, it was my first Halloween since when I was a Batman as a little kid that I went all out. We thought about this. So we went and bought priest costumes that were way too damn expensive for a black. Uh, it was black. I'll throw up a photo on the screen. It was black. It had the white collar. We had a cross. And then um, it came with this... Uh, this wooden book that said the holy book and inside of it we put jack yeah we put jack so the holy book was actually honey jack and we were a success dude we were a success we went around i would take beer and splash it on people and say um the power of christ repels you i would do that 
I would bless people. I would say, hey, you need some holy stuff and open it up and show them Honey Jack, dude. Oh, dude, parties during Halloween are something else. And then bars at Halloween, dude, are even better. You have everyone dressing up like an idiot and just getting hammered, dude. And you would always have the people that went like all out too. It was like Halloween in college is such a great time. But I went off. You had people. I always, <laughs> there's always that guy that was jacked who just, like Halloween too. So like Halloween is like the time in college for girls to show off. And it's also where you see the most douchiest guys come out. You always had that one guy that would wear ripped, like a ripped flannel and would go around like flexing and like pretending like he's the Hulk or something. And, um, you like you, uh, it's just like, dude, come on, bro. Like, but also like everyone was doing it, but like, those are just the guys that just like, don't get too much, uh, attention so they had to get all their attention on halloween dude um but yeah man after that time like that was like me and my me and my roommate um at the time we still talk about like that being like the greatest halloween it was so like it was it was the one time i did halloween correct like i had a good outfit it fit me well it was it was a really funny time um and then let me tell you about my worst, my absolute worst, besides the bed sheet over my head, the absolute worst. So my junior year, yes, my junior year, I was like, dude, I don't really, I I went to two parties my junior year of college. I went to two parties, all right? I... Couldn't think of anything good to dress up as, all right? And I didn't want to do the priest thing again. Um, And, like, dude, Halloween costumes are so expensive, especially when you want to get a good one. So I was supposed to go to this party, and I was like, I'm not going to go. Um, I don't, I don't have a costume. But then my friends were like, dude, just, like, dress up as a lumberjack. I'm like, no, I already did that. Like I've done that before and I was like, dude, I got it. I put on a white shirt and grabbed a Sharpie and I said I was a, um, I said I was a uh, whiteboard dude. I dressed up as a whiteboard and I was that annoying guy at the party that would go up to girls, cute girls and say, Hey, can I get your number? Put it on my shirt or Hey, sign my shirt. Or I'd go to dudes and say, hey, sign my shirt, expecting them to not draw a dick on my shirt. There was so many dicks on my shirt, so many just stupid sayings and stuff. It was, I thought it was like the greatest idea, but looking back at it, terrible. I don't know how or why I thought that was a great idea. Oh my gosh. And then my senior year of college, I was a lumberjack again. I also dressed up as a nurse my junior year. I think I have a photo of that. I just put on scrubs because the college I went to was huge in nursing. So you knew people that had scrubs. Um, It was just a thing. So I I was also a nurse. And I do. I'm so thankful I didn't go into that field because I look absolutely terrible in scrubs. Like I I don't do V-necks. I have a hairy chest. I don't do V-necks, dude. Maybe when I'm older and give less of a fuck, but I don't do V-necks. I can't. I can't. But yeah, man, let let me know what, um, if you're listening to this, let me know what uh, your guys' most embarrassing Halloween um, was or if you had any cool um, Halloween, Halloween costumes, tweet at me because I think Halloween is when you really get to see someone's uh, personality because they're either going to go all out. They're going to look like a, they're going to go all out, try to show themselves off, or they're going to be absolutely terrible. And I was in between. I I never, like I said, I've never really had a good Halloween, man. It was, uh, 
It was uh weird. Oh, where am I at for time, dude? Where am I at for time, man? 15 minutes? Uh, probably, like, more than that, like, 13, because I stopped this. Uh, um, You know? You know? Um, What? There was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, so um, I kind of had this random idea that's kind of working in my favor. Um, TikTok. Um, if you want to follow me on TikTok, it's literally called You Might Be Surprised. I put out this TikTok um, where I was like, hey, like this or comment and tell me if I should start posting one minute podcasts. And I did this two days ago and my first one got like 300 views and a couple people said, yeah, do it. And then yesterday I posted my first one, talk about like my nightly routine. Normally, like um, I get home from work and I either work on content, write jokes, stream. Um, and I pretty much said like, cause I'm trying to work for myself. And this is the only way I know how to make it work is by creating content and building a brand around myself. And I was like, tell me your nightly routine. And if I look at it now, I swear if I have an ad, if I look at it now, it now has 221 views, uh, 10 likes, I'm getting more traction on stupid one minute videos that I post on TikTok than I do on like my quality podcast that I'm producing. I was like, what? Am I about to become TikTok famous? <sighs> oh, I don't know if I could handle myself. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I could handle myself being TikTok famous. I would, I would like to be known for something a little bit more personable, <laughs> but you know what, man, we're doing it. We're doing it. Um, I think any type of publicity is good publicity so i'm out here doing the thing man i i also want to create more comedy sketch videos Uh, last podcast i like broke down like my thought process of the uh naked ballot uh celebrities um and i really enjoyed doing um that i am however writing um writing jokes for stand up. Um, I've been doing that a lot this week. I have a premise. Um, I kind of look at stand up. I don't like, I don't, I don't know if you guys, um, write comedy or do anything, but I kind of look at it in my head. I was always confused on how a comedian can do an hour set, but then I started looking at it like a band. Like when you go and see a band live, a band can play for one hour and they have tons of music that they can play. And like, you know how like some songs are like five minutes, some songs are two minutes. Um, and it kind of like has like an emotion. And then I was like, Oh, I just have to write jokes like songs, like to get like a good five minutes. I should write like three really good one minute and 30 second. Um, songs quote unquote and kind of break it down like that and have good premises and then you kind of build off of that um and then like the whole like stage presence and reacting to the crowd and things like that plays a part in it but once i looked at it that way writing jokes and coming up with premises all of a sudden became simpler for me i was like oh i just need to do this and then add on to this. And then all of a sudden I have three minutes of material that I've m- m- memorized in my head. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing in my free time. I took this week off from, uh, streaming and playing games. Um, I talked about two in one of my earlier podcasts, check it out how I got rated on Twitch and like got hundred viewers in while I was playing Minecraft. And like that would like became my obsession because I was like, oh, I get to interact with people live and things like that. And um, that that's a very dangerous thing to chase because there's so many people doing it and you can just lose hours upon hours of your day playing games, hoping someone's going to pop up in your Twitch. And like, if you do it correctly, you can um, rise to um, fame and things like that. Um, but I kind of like podcasts and like doing like jokes and things like that is always the end game for me because I just see that as more of a personal career. And I want to go out and live my life. 
um, and do cool things. And I don't necessarily want to be behind a computer screen uh, playing games for the rest of my life. As, as I, but I'm like, I, I'm not going to not not stream. Like whenever I play games, I'm, I'm going to stream because I, like I said, I just see that as another way to build brand awareness around me and show another part of me that you don't necessarily see on podcasts or in videos I create or if you just see me on the street. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's what I like, dude. I, I need, um, every single time I record one of these, it's been like a recurring thing. I like, don't think I'm doing it correctly. Um, or like I need segments. I need to work on segments. Um, and not just going on here, ram rambling. Um, like a couple of the, the solo podcasts I listen to work because they're comedians and anything that they say uh, kind of like works for them. And maybe maybe I'm looking too far into this. I say this every podcast, dude. Um, but I did want to do a cool segment called Pod Decks. So Pod Decks, I keep seeing this thing pop up like where you buy like a, a deck of cards and they have like random questions. Um, but they have an app now. So I'm going to randomly pick a deck of cards. Um, what the fuck? All right. That's what it is. Preview. Is cereal soup? Why or why not? If you think about it, I actually had this, I had a huge argument in one of my, um, with one of my roommates in college about this, actually. If you think about it, cereal is technically a soup. Milk is the broth, and then the cereal is whatever is inside of it. The only difference between soup and cereal that you would think that there is, is you would say, oh, soup is hot. But actually, if you search it up, there is cold soup. So technically, soup is a cereal, dude. Or cereal is a soup. I said that wrong. All right. Let's see what else there is. Um, what is the sexiest and least sexy name? All right. Um, as a person that has a basic name as Chris, Chris is not sexy at all. It doesn't roll off the tongue. If I had to pick, okay, I'll, I'll pick a really good sexy name for a guy, a really good sexy name for a girl. And then a terrible sexy name for a girl and a terrible sexy name for a guy. I feel like um, the European names automatically for guys become immediately sexier. Like if you, if you're going out with a girl, dude, and she tells you that her ex's name is like Ronaldo, you should already just picture that this relationship isn't going to last more than three months. If your girl says that her ex is Ronaldo. I would like if like if we were on a date and she says that I'd probably get up and leave, dude. I'd probably get up and leave. Now. For a girl, it's different. I think a really good sexy name for a girl would have to be like. It has to be a name that like rolls off the tongue um for some reason i'm thinking cheyenne because it's like mystery but that's not really sexy that's just like like cheyenne pictures me like e either like a really like like a s sexy girl or like a girl that uh rides trucks you know um let me think dude i don't know of a really good sexy i can't think of one um Christina. Um, I think for girls' names, it doesn't really matter because you can meet a girl named Hope and you're like, ooh, or you can meet a, a girl named Hope and you're like, ugh. I, I guess it's the same thing for guys. I know a terrible uh, sexy name for guys, like something like John or Chris or just like something that's like one like big thing, like the basic names. Jake, Chris, Alex, uh, like the basic names are just terrible. Like you need a European name. That's why like 
if I had to change my name to a sexy name, it would definitely be some sort of like Michelangelo. I could be Michelangelo, dude. I, I could pull that shit off. And then f- uh, for girl, like the least sexy name for a girl, it has to be something simple. Like those simple names just don't like. If you hear, if you hear a girl named Tay, like that, nah, get that out of here. Get that out of here, dude. Um, we'll do one more of these. Um, I'll ramble you pick a deck. Uh, would you rather hit me? Um, would you rather never use toilet paper again or wear wrinkled clothes forever? I would say never use toilet paper again because I could use paper towel or I could get a bidet. So, and I like to dress nice and look nice, dude. Like, look at this. I'm looking fine. It's only going to show my torso, but you know what? We're here for it. Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably do that, dude. Um, yeah, I could, I mean, there's other solutions to wearing um, or to not using toilet paper, but there's not a solution for uh, wrinkled clothes. Like, I I hate going someplace. Like, I definitely try not to wear sweats. I, I, I try to look as good as I can whenever I can. You know, that's just who I am. So, yeah, that's the podcast. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to my podcast. Um, every single time I record one of these, I get super happy. Um, I need to uh, kind of switch up the dates of like when I want to like drop this. It was every Monday and then that kind of got pushed and then like I started doing one every uh, other week because I look too much into these types of things. Um, also, doing solo podcasts can be kind of like daunting because um, I like for me, I get in my own head and I start thinking that what I'm talking about is not good enough. And then like I like go on this like spiral but um i hope you guys enjoyed um i i I, i'm gonna try to be more personal and kind of talk more um about my type of things because the reason why i love podcasts so much is because you get to hear people's opinions on things that you normally wouldn't hear them on um and that's what like drew me to podcasts like joe rogan the fighter and the kid um two bears one cave and just things like that um and i and i'm gonna start doing segments um so that's gonna be cool and fun um so stay tuned i hope you guys like this podcast follow me on twitter at ymbs underscore chris follow me on instagram at ymbs underscore chris follow the podcast on instagram at you might be surprised podcast or is it just you might be surprised i always forget it is load phone faster it is literally just you might be surprised crazy how i got that name and then um yeah if like if you want to follow my twitch too which you might be surprised um if you follow me on social media you can figure out um the stuff that i'm doing and get more thoughts behind my head because i'm trying to do the best that i can and like i feel like it's a learning curve i have such a dope name for a podcast that like i'm i'm never gonna not podcast i could podcast for the rest of my life and that's what i'm gonna do so thank you guys so much for listening. I'm going to go eat food, go get big, maybe see that cute girl in the gym again. And that's been it. I've been Chris. You've been beautiful. Try something new. You might be surprised what happens. Peace, guys.